Are you lost in this jungle out there with all of these different fixtures and not knowing what to invest in as your first light for your videos? My tip for you is to get a LED light panel. And in this video, I will dive a little bit into the technical side of things and explain why these lights are still the king when it comes to efficiency and ease of use. So let's go. Throughout the years of shooting all my short films, I've realized I've always been heavily using these LED light panels in some fashion. In some cases, I've had more elaborate ideas how I wanted to light my scenes, but then quickly fell back into using panels again. Just because of their compact size, how fast you can get set up, just pop in some batteries, mount it on a stand and you're good to go. In my opinion, LED light panels strike the perfect balance between softness and high output. You get a lot of lux out of this little panel, which is a Aperture Amaran P60X, and while still being a somewhat soft light. If you look at the specification on one of these lights and compare it to, let's say, a Aperture 200X, this one output 5,900 lux and the Amaran 200X outputs 6,700 lux at one meter distance. Now you're thinking what kind of crazy voodoo magic is this 60 watt panel possessed by to be able to almost compete with a 200 watt COB light. It all comes down to the angle of the light. The COB light is spreading all of that 200 watts all over the place at an almost 180 degree angle. And in this panel, the LEDs actually have these micro lenses in front of them, focusing the light in a 45 degree angle. So if I were to mount a reflector on the 200X, I get a whopping 51,600 lux at one meter because the light is now focused at a 55 degree angle. So now it's a more reasonable comparison. The 200 watt should, of course, in a sane world, outperform this 60 watt tiny little panel. But couldn't you instead get a, let's say this one, an Aperture LS60X, which is a 60 watt cob light, and get the best of both worlds? To be able to focus the light with the built-in Fresnel lens and get 32,000 lux in spot mode, and also be able to soften it with a small softbox and still match the output of the P60X. Sorry to be the messenger of bad news, but you will lose too much of an output if you were to soften the light from the LS60X. I've locked the exposure in the camera in this test and I'm bouncing the LS60X on the wall in the same shape of a P60X light panel. And now let's compare how much more light I'm getting with the panel onto my skin. And we can also do a comparison like this to actually notice the difference. You're losing a lot of light when bouncing and softening the LS60X. You get 60 watts of light directly onto your subject, but with the illusion of a soft light. I say illusion because this brings me to one of the drawbacks of a light panel. Because of this array of LEDs, you will sometimes notice that your shadows are not smooth, but more like many shadows stacked on top of each other. Another thing to consider is that they can never become a hard light, so you can never cast a hard shadow with a panel. You will need a cob light for that purpose. For example, here in my short film Dark Love, I used my LS60X to get some shadows going here in the background, something I could never accomplish with a panel. So to summarize, despite the limitations, I still love using light panels because of the ease of use. They come in a variety of sizes. They are somewhat soft and are very efficient in their output. But what do you guys think? What's your favorite video lighting fixture? And if you have any questions for me, let me know down below. That's all I have for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.